Okay. Where are we going? We are going to Bristol Airport Aerospace. Oh, you went to Bristol Airport. Yeah, we're going there. That's where we're going. Yeah. BS34. B S three four five B Z five B Z go. So although I think I know where it is, it's just a case of which way we go. So right, we're off to go to Concord. Right, we have arrived. I won't need those. So we go inside. She's rearing to go. Let's go inside. Hey. Can I rubber concord, you say? I bought you a placemat. Yeah, I still got it. I yeah. still got it, yeah. So, in fact, I think it's somewhere off his desk, yeah. Yeah, you can go that. Okay. So, cameras are laid. We'll be discreet. I'm not pointing at folks, but uh, yeah, looking forward to this. Good, I'm glad you are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just like it. I'm only going to show you glimpses. You'll have to come here and look at it yourself, but it is definitely worth, definitely worth the visit. And the ticket lasts a year. You had to be brave to go up in that, didn't you? Oh, God, yeah. Not so much, I don't think that left the floor, yeah. really. Yeah, we'll put the one in the back there. Yeah, I there think that's... Um, no, actually, that is a floating machine, isn't it? <laughs> You're a lady. Do you reckon that's the one they used, uh, one of our dinosaurs is missing? <laughs> that truck. Do you remember that film? Yeah. That looks like that, doesn't it? So. Jupiter. Bristol's first aero engine. This place is so jam packed full of history. If you're coming to Bristol, you've got to come here if you're interested in airplanes. Definitely. It does help. <laughs> it does. Well, yeah. Well, not just airplanes, also defence. Oh, the hats, look. Hats? Oh, the flying hats? Yeah, I'm not wearing hats. I might have lice. <laughs> yeah, I might go out with lice stuff and wear that. Second regular. These aircraft are changing the nature. Yeah. 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 Producing plenty of reliable aircraft. Quite right. You don't get me in any simulator. Hey. Ooh, A320. Yeah, I remember to fly that. You've got a bit of a wibble wobble on me. Twenty minutes training, really, yeah. we'd be away. Yeah, twenty minutes training. Yeah. Was that it? Is it? There you go. There's your ticket. Bought you a ticket to go in. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Well, that's the bit you see when you're sat in it. That's the bit you don't see. You will happily sit and wait for me. Happily sit and wait for me, sir. So. All right. Okay. Might get dark. You left hang on.
Welcome to the Red Arrows Experience. Today you'll be flying with the world famous aerobatic team during some of their most exciting maneuvers. This is a dynamic simulation ride, so please remain seated at all times. Hold on to the grab rail in front of you and keep your arms and legs away from the doors. In the event of an emergency, there's a stop button above your head. Hold on tight, here we go. It's, it's little kiddie proof that is. So it's Concord that way. Concord that way? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Trent fan. Oh, what's Trent fan? That means Trent is an engine type, so. There's a green button there, don't press it. Hey? All right. Well, I've pressed the button now, so. Okay. Oh, Concord's in that one, isn't it? Uh, isn't it that one? What's that say? Aerospace something or other? I'm sure it's in here. Concord wouldn't fit in that one. Yeah, yeah, comfort space is that way. So I reckon it's in here. There's a big concord on the bimming door. You what, sorry? This is why it re retired. Why did concord retire? You can probably go around this bit, go up, go over, and then we can have a look around the bottom yeah. part if you like. Well, I want to look at the, because they, they are projecting onto the side of it, so. Hmm. The next generation. Oh, Mid 1980s, no. That's actually bigger, isn't it? In a minute. Mm. What does Concord mean to you? Happy memories, 11 o'clock every morning. Watching it go over. Ten o'clock at night, hearing the boom. Yeah. And it went out over the channel. Oh. Why do you think it retired? Cost. Yeah, there you go. You've, so you put your own message on then, yeah. you put it on the board, what you think. Yeah, it's just cost, isn't it? Mm. So, it couldn't pay for itself. And also it had accidents. In, in yeah, Paris, I just want to look at the projector a minute before we go up. Apparently we've got a fully restored working engine. Although I don't think it's going to start up any time soon. Four of those. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we missed out and never flying on her? No, I don't think so. Uh, it'll be a nice experience. I know, but I know tomorrow they're doing that nose dip. But yeah, so tomorrow they just told us that um, it's a special day. They're actually having um, some ex pilots in here doing question and answers, and the hydraulic system for the nose drop works. So they're actually going to drop the nose on the plane a couple of times tomorrow, and there's other things going on, sort of. Uh, uh, technical stuff. You can talk with technicians and people who looked after her and people who rebuilt her and, and stuff like that. So we come today when it's a bit quieter. But Christmas under Concord? That would be different, wouldn't it? There you go. Aerospace Bristol, you can have Christmas in here under Concord. She is a feat of engineer of mine, isn't she? She is a thing of beauty. Going on, yeah? yeah, we'll go up on the um, deck. That's the one thing we're coming today. It's a lot quieter than it will be tomorrow. 
is how small it is. Because remember, we were in last time, we couldn't believe. What, how small it is? Yeah. yeah. It's not a big plane, is it? What, it carries 16, 17 people? Yeah. There weren't many. But it was yeah. Richard famous, wasn't it? Yeah. And apparently, this is what they're going to drop in the nose. Yeah. Tomorrow. He said that he's going to do a... A, a, a five and a 25 degree or something. So. Yeah. To yeah. simulate it landing for the last time. Yeah. Because this is the last one to fly, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, this is the last one, this is when they flew over. Are those pictures on the, we saw earlier, yeah, that's, that's this plane. Yeah, and then it was just left in the car park, if you like. It was, for years, wasn't it, outside? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of buttons and dials and switches and stuff. That's all the fuses in there, isn't it? Yeah. All the breakers. No. Uh, it's very tight in there. You wouldn't, wouldn't have room for a big fella in there, would you? No. Have you seen here where they signed all the, uh, the uh, actual cockpit on the last flight? The flight proof, actually. Yeah. 20 years ago, tomorrow. Coffee, cookers, lockers, more lockers. Passengers were given a complimentary gift to remind them of their flight. This could be onboard stationery, luggage tags, or travel toys. Proper leather seats. I know. Tiny little windows, though, isn't it? I know. This was this was comfortable. This was what you you know. Actually, it feels bigger than it did last time. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? If, without, because it's just us two in here, the last time it felt a lot smaller than this, but it's still quite... Um, Compact you know, invasion. You're flying twice the speed of sound in this thing at God knows how many thousand feet up in the air. You see, that's tiny. Look at the toilet. Eh? Yeah. Not much privacy in there, is there? <laughs> not going to join the Marlowe Club in there. Oh, two, two toilets. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably second class, I suspect, in there. They're a bit more squeezed see, up. You see, right at the end, there's the kitchen. Right at the Another very kitchen, end. yeah. Right, okay. And cloakroom there. Cloakroom? Oh, cloakroom, look. Oh, wow. Oh. I see. Right, and obviously the way out. Right, and that was it. We're done. Let's go look at the It looks bigger up here. Okay. It looks bigger up here. Yeah. Yeah. Eight thousand pounds for a return ticket. In 2003. Three hours, three hours, three hours, three hours, three Chubshaw, that's a proper name for a Concorde pilot, isn't it? Chubshaw. There's nothing else like it in the world. Even pilots stop and stare. Mm. It's an awful lot bigger than the actual cockpit, yeah. that's a bit more spaced out than here.
Okay. Well, conveniently, they're just there. Right. Bye bye, Concord. And back in, what, the old tower over there? Yeah. Longest runway in the country, wouldn't it? Yeah, they built it for the, was it the Brabazon? I think they've built the Brabazon. It was the longest runway in the country, I think. And now they're going to build houses on it, which is a shame. Anyway, right, back and look at the old stuff, shall we? Yeah, go back and look at the old stuff. Ah, the old carrier. Bless her. And now we've got that monstrosity F-35 instead. Hey. Eh? Here it is. One Pegasus. I wouldn't have minded if I was in the RAF flying that. What are you? Well, that was there last time I came here. I'm not saying a lot, I'm just letting you look, all right? Seats have done a few miles. Go back in time now. Back in time, yeah. What are you? The Bristol Sycamore. Not seen the rape here yet, I know it's in here somewhere. It's a big old motor, isn't it? Ah, make your moped go, wouldn't it? God, I used to have one of those. Don't know where it is. We used to have one of these up at the police station in one, didn't we? Then you took it down about 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. The siren, remember that? Yeah, they used to send it off once a year, didn't they? The year it go off, so. An unexploded bin. Dropped on Filton during the air raids of September 1940. Oh, yeah. Bob went through that. Was it that bomb that went through it? Lennon wreckage. Yeah, he looks a bit poorly. As does that. Old wooden propeller, what's left of it. I don't think he's going to run again. Pegasus Mark II engine. All aboard the Britannia.
Oh, it's got the smell of old, hasn't it? Yeah, you smell that in there, yeah. the leather. Old leather? Yeah. It's just old leather, isn't got it? tea room in there. I don't remember it being this... Um Able to look at so much stuff as last time we came here. Yeah, I think so. I still haven't found the rapier yet, though. The what? Rapier missiles. Hey. Oh, there it is. That's rapier. Hey. My next door neighbour helped design that. My ex neighbour. Who's that? That was Ron. Ron, Ron um, Crumpler. Oh, Phil, Phil's dad, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was involved with that. Seawolf. Did we use those in the Falklands? There was talk about um, rapier missiles being sent to Ukraine a while ago. Somebody somewhere has a, was got a load to get rid of and they were going to give them to Ukraine so they could throw them at the Russians. Right, use the arrow to aim the missile. Where am I aiming there? Well, I don't know what the flight path of the... F Wait. Uh, OK, so you've got to go up it then. Yeah. And again. Uh, keep going, keep going. Uh, uh, keep going. Not yet. Oh, yeah. Here, here. Is it fire? Are we doing what we're told? Look, yeah, sure. this, is, this is basically how to do a missile. Oh, that's it. Press me a red button. Now try going on a windy day. Challenge two. Wait again. Wait for it. Right, wind's coming towards you, so it's going to slow you down, so you've got to go higher. And again. And again. Yeah. No! Oh, because of the wind. Oh, we didn't compensate for the wind. That's it, not bad. Yeah. So I was right there. Fantastic. <laughs> Project Chevrolet, a British scheme to modify our nuclear missiles so that they would be able to wipe out Moscow. Chevrolet is, in fact, the extreme tip of a Polaris missile. Especially we don't want to wipe out Moscow. We don't want to wipe out anybody. And we don't want them to wipe out the Skylar. It's a great name for uh, something to kill people. No, it's for sounding rockets into the space. Hey, oh, is it? We're going to space now. Oh, space. Putting space into aerospace. All oh, right, OK. 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 All right, sorry, I'm, I'm behind. It's not quite Sputnik, is it? That's nearer Sputnik. Concord needed a special aluminium alloy called tiduminium. Tiduminium. So it could fly at high speed. Yeah, <laughs> bless you, thank you very much. Sometimes you see the firework explode before you hear it. This is because sound. Right, that's about it, I think. I think we've done it. So it's either a cup of tea or No, we'll have a cup of tea at home. Yeah, we'll go home. Yeah. Cup of tea at home, yeah. Go home. Yeah. Uh, that way. That way. Out and then along and through the shop. Go okay. But we've still got tickets that you can buy. Yeah. Yeah. Tickets last a year. Do I push or pull? Oh, well, oh, that's a pull, I reckon. Well, maybe later to do it. Uh, Stephane Cook, uh, but it's normally a waste of the day. I'm here. I'm going to look for it. Yeah, it's called Oh, OK, yeah. She's left outside. She's here for 10 years? Yeah, yeah. And they, they basically brought her in, didn't they? Yeah. But she'd restored, she was parked in the car park. 700,000 pounds to raise by 2010. So that's, yeah, 10 years. 10 years to raise the money to build this place. Or that place over there. It's a lot of money, isn't it?
Yeah. But I suppose it's purpose built for the job, so. That's what Henry does. Makes wheels? No, he makes the landing gear stuff, doesn't he? That's what they do, they make, make all that lot. The smell is mince place from when you were last night you took to um we did your um thing in sale, Kate, so. but there yeah. will be an after event sale yeah by the time people see this they'll yeah, be gone yeah, yeah. so yeah right home, home. Yeah. cup of tea yummy right back home again hope you enjoyed that um so like i said before if you're staying in this area i mean if we had the campsite we would tell people to go and visit it uh, if you're staying in this area or passing through and you've got time, it is well worth calling into <laughs> the British Aerospace Museum down in Filton. Um, you will be give you the postcode at the beginning, um, but it's easy enough to find. And if you buy a ticket to go in there and have a wander around, once you've been in and that ticket's been scanned, it's actually valid for a year, so you can go back again. So you could drive down to the south coast have a look on the way, I mean, driving back, have another look on the way back. Probably be exactly the same, but uh, yeah. Highly recommended if you're interested in aerospace, uh, if you're interested in planes, the history of propellers to jet engines, stuff like that, Bristol played a big part in that. And also obviously quite a big part in going even higher. So, right, on that note, I think that's it for today. Um, it is almost, well, 10 to 4. The sun is only a finger above the horizon. 15, 20 minutes, it'll be gone. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.